I'm Lily, I'm 16 and I'm in year 10 at Manly. I've been recently doing some volunteer work with Ecodivers, Dave here who heads up Ecodivers and also with the Project. We're here today courtesy of Moringa Council. There was a competition run in which people who are residents of Moringa Council were able to enter and possibly win a chance to be on the boat today and have an understanding of what it is that we're trawling for. So we're going to be trawling through the harbour with the trawl net. We're going to be collecting plastic samples to see what we bring up. And it should be really interesting to see what sort of plastics we bring up. It's a manta trawl. I can see that it looks like a manta feeds on the surface. It's used, this is a very, very fine mesh net that's used for plankton trawling and sampling. So there's not much that can go through this. On the end is a removable section called a cod cup or what's cod piece. Inside this is a flow meter gives us an idea of the speed that's travelling at. We're going to go for about an hour, drag it behind off to the side of the boat and then that's it. If we bring it on board that's when it gets exciting. Bring it back on board, we'll wash it all out and back into the bucket and then we'll go put it through the sieve and we'll see what we've found. A lot of little particles will stick to the seaweed because it's all in the, in the surface. The one's there. That's why from here those samples go to Ansto when they get under the big microscope and they'll separate it all. And so after trawling for an hour with the trawl net about this wide we found a, a surprisingly large amount of plastics including items like straws, small, small clear plastic bags and cigarette butts. Considering how little of harbour that we sampled, it also shows you how much is actually down there. 